I had the, uh, a great uh, opportunity a little while ago, back uh, several months ago now, that uh, Eric with John C. Brewery came in and was asking uh, for a barrel, a bourbon barrel. Um, it just so happened to be that uh, when he asked the question, I proceeded to ask, uh, what do you think about, uh, what What are you looking for in the barrel? Are you just going to use it for, you know, a, a flower arrangement or what's going to go on with this barrel? And he said, no, no, I'm, I'm John C. Brewery. I want to brew uh, one of our beers and, and age it in, in a bourbon barrel. And I said, oh my gosh. I said, Eric, then what you need is, you really need a wet barrel that I've got uh, coming in in a couple of weeks. Uh, buying my, my bourbon uh, by the barrel, I have the opportunity to keep, uh, to keep these barrels um, as a display piece for the store. But in this hand, I wanted to give uh, the opportunity to, I guess, either upcycle, recycle, I'm not sure which way that goes. Uh, my daughter's still trying to help me out with that. But to give the opportunity for that barrel to be passed along and to produce another product um, that I can possibly sell in the future. So Eric, uh, with the collaboration of his brewers, uh, took the barrel away. They have two of my barrels. Um, and they produced a barrel for us that we'll be tasting today here in the store. Um, that they produced their beer, they then aged it within my barrel um, that we chose the bourbon from, which this one actually is a Crown Royal. We bought a whole barrel of Crown Royal. Uh, most of the time we do an Eagle Wear or a Buffalo Trace product, but um, this one is going to be a real neat spin because it has a little bit of a, it's called Appalachia, which has a, um, it's, I believe that the base is from their blonde beer. Um, they do have some uh, a nice apple hint to it in that crown barrel, which gives it just that just a little sweetness. Just uh, our, kind of our take on a traditional apple ale. Uh, add a little bit of rice, you get some spice on the back end. Also get some cinnamon, and we use local honey in this beer. Also, and I also look forward to in another month or so. Uh, our other barrel is uh, producing a, a uh, cherry stout, which I'm very excited about.